It says, now Shmuel did not yet know Hashem, the Devar Hashem was not yet revealed unto him. Chapter 3, verse 7 of First Samuel, First Shmuel, Shmuel Aleph, chapter 3, verse 7. Very important book. Has the word of the Lord been revealed to you? Do you know the word of the Lord? Can you interpret it? And do you know the word that was with God and took on flesh as a Rabbi Melech HaMashiach? And uh, one day, there's about 144,000 of these Shmuels, and they're going to have their eyes open to the word, Hallelujah. like Shmuel did. And when they do, they're going to be like Shaul on the Damascus Road, and they're going to turn the whole world upside down. And, and, and you have to know Abba Father. You've got to know him. If you don't know him, then what kind of a Father's Day are you going to have tomorrow? Because uh, Elohim Ha'av reveals Elohim Haben. In other words, uh, without him, uh, without the, the, the Father, you cannot know the Zun Fundaroibister. You cannot know the Mashiach. And I, I'm going to give you a little bit of teaching on this. But Elohim Ha'av draws you to himself and he teaches you about the Zun Fundaroibister. And unless the, the uh, Elohim ha, Ha'av, unless the, the Father draw you, uh, you, you will not come to the Mashiach. Uh, and so you see, he is the great choreographer who is who is bringing your whole salvation. Say that again. Your Say whole, that again. Your, the, the whole. The, he is the choreographer. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> who is who is choreographing your your salvation? Now, uh, Gracious chapter three, verse fifteen, Genesis. There's a Torah teaching there. It's it's confirmed in rabbinic exegesis. Uh, it, uh, it, it, I'll give you the words that are in the Hebrew. It says, Zerah Zeh Melech HaMoshiach. And it's talking about the seed of, of the woman, the Zerah HaIsha. And this is found in Midrash Rabbah, uh, chapter 23, verse 5. And this is the teaching that Mashiach, through his sufferings, will win our victory over Hasatan. Mashiach will do it. You see, God wants connection. You've got to see this about, this is the whole meaning of the story of, of, of uh, Gan Eden, that, uh, that God has authority that must be respected. And his, his authority is in his, is in his word. And don't add to his word like, uh, like uh, Hava did. You know, and 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 uh, and we must live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And God desires to remain connected to you. What does He do? He 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 He, he does a sacrifice. There's a blood sacrifice uh, necessary because the animal skins cover them from the shame of their nakedness. And you know, there's no secret sins with God. You know, we're all naked and open before the Lord. There's no such thing as a secret sin. And they found that out the hard way. And he had to make a covering to cover the shame of their nakedness after they discovered their, uh, their, that, they, that they had transgressed and they had broken the fellowship. But God still wanted to be connected with them. And that's why he covered them. And that's why there was blood necessary from the beginning. And that's why when the uh, Hasatan, when he bruises uh, the Mashiach's heel, uh, you, you know, the, the, he, by his stripes, by his wounds, by his bruises, mm -hmm. we were healed. Yeah. He was wounded. Yeah. We're talking about blood. The, the whole sacrificial system at the Mizbeach, at the altar, was pointing toward him. And, and, yeah. and you know... Uh, a teenager wants to be independent from his own father. And sometimes when elderly people uh, have a little temptation to have a sort of a ch second childhood and they want to get all the little toys that they couldn't afford as children and they get off on this, and be careful because you can also get a little independent from God in your old age. And, and the Lord does not want this. Because Elohim Ha'ab will chasten you if you are truly born of him. And, and Hebrews 12, verses 6 and 7 says that. But God is long-suffering and merciful. Uh, he, he is your very own father and he loves you and you wouldn't even know. 
about the Lord if he didn't love you. And, and, and he, you know what he is? He's the one who keeps his eyes open for you. He wants you to return. He wants you to come back to him. Every prodigal, he loves you. He's the one that planned your salvation. He's the one. Look, you all know what a sonogram is. Can you imagine a very virile young man and a very fertile young woman? And they, uh, they want to have a family. And almost in no time, he's looking in the sonogram and seeing you in the womb of your mother. But God does this before the foundation of the world. He is outside time. He sees you and he plans. And, and what does it say in Galatians? It says, at the right time, at the right time, God sent the Zundfunder Oibister. Hallelujah. And, and how do you come to, to Mashiach? Uh, he, he has to first approach you by means of the Ruach HaKodesh. But even before that, he has planned. He has planned everything for your salvation. This is, this is, this is what he does just at the right time. Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 to 6. You've got to look at that. You have to see that on Father's Day, that the purpose and will and plan of God comes from Elohim Ha'av. He's the one who has completely choreographed your salvation. You have a father. You have a father in heaven. And uh, you need to meditate on these verses until you really believe it, until you can really wrap your mind and your heart around it. Uh, because Shmuel was like you. He, he had a very distant relationship with his father. The father of Shmuel only visited him once a year. And the word of the Lord was not yet revealed to him. So that's, that's your situation. You feel a little alienated and foreign uh, and, and estranged from your earthly father, perhaps, and especially from your heavenly father. And the Bible is a closed book, really. You have no appetite for it. You can't really understand it. It's spiritual words that have to be spiritually discerned. You, you, it's, not, it's, not, it's not your book. You're into rabbinic writings and all this other stuff. But, but look at what it says here. Chapter 3, verse 7. Now Shmuel did not yet know Hashem. The Devar Hashem was not yet revealed unto him. How can they hear without a preacher? We're going to put this book all over the Hasidic community. We're going to have these Bibles as plentiful. Listen, the devil is a liar. Did you know the devil is a yes. father of lies? Yes. The devil is a father of lies. Yes. The devil is a lying father. Yes. He says, you know, you don't really need to uh, read the words of your heavenly father. Uh, you can just put it on the bookshelf and read other books. Uh, listen to other tapes and other things and uh, you can let this get a little dusty it's not that important and that's what he does but what does God do God says I'm going to plant the word everywhere I'm going to put it everywhere I'm going to send sowers out sowing the seed they're going to be everywhere this will listen if the rabbi says it is halakhically forbidden to read this and suppresses the truth and unrighteousness then God says oh yeah rabbi well you're going to be waiting in these books before it's all over with because the time has come for Israel to come back to the world. Israel is like Shmuel. Israel is like that little child whose father was estranged, only saw him once a year, who did not yet know Hashem because the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. And, and the Lord is going to reveal his word. Hallelujah. And you're going to find preachers that are preaching the Bible. And you're going to find that some of these preachers are actually Jews. And some of them are actually rabbis. And it's, they're going to be all over the place. And it's good, you're going to look at the yellow pages and it'll be rabbi so-and-so, rabbi so-and-so, rabbi so-and-so. And these people will be Messianic Jews. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because, friend... Maybe you were adopted and then your father died, but at least he chose you. Yes. You were a child nobody wanted, and he came into the orphanage and he picked you out and he gave you a new destiny, and you became a, a, uh, a, 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 an heir. You became an heir because your heavenly father is rich. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Is there anybody here who can say Baruch Hashem because you do have a father on Father's Day. Hallelujah.